Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at frequency tables and tallies. Now, a little reminder, it is a really good idea in all of these videos to take notes. Lots of people remember things better if they write them down. So please write down bits and pieces that I put on these slides, whether it's in a book, or just somewhere where you can reference them later on when you're doing some practice questions. There are only two main points to today's lesson. First one is what a tally is, and the second one is the frequency, which are the words written over on the right. So just uh, for clarity, we use a tally to keep track if we're doing a survey. So we could write that as simply used for counting. So you might have seen something like this, and I'll give a little example. Sometimes these are better served if you are uh, sitting in a classroom and you do a class tally. So on the right, I've got a little table. Um, we're looking at the different pets owned by students in a classroom. So what we'll do is we'll go around the class and we'll say, okay, what pets do you have? So in this case, you might say, I've got no pets. And that's not a one, but that's just a symbol representing one. Then you might have three people that say they have a cat, like so, someone's got a dog, someone has, for instance, a rabbit, someone might have a rat, someone else has a rat, then you might have five people with dogs. So you would give them a mark, two, three, four, five. So on the fifth mark, we put a line through the middle. So there are six dog owners in this class and there might be you know, a few more over here. So what we've now got is a tally of a survey of the people in the class with all of their pets. And this could be done for anything. This could be done for color of the cars that drive past your house. Or it could be people's favorite TV shows, or it could be a tally for people's favorite sports teams. So where it now says frequency, that is literally adding up how many of those tally marks we have for each classification. So it is simply the total from the tally. So in this case we would have two, four, six, and three. And they're just simply adding up how many we have each time. It's worth noting that sometimes we'll find rather than just simply categories like none, cat, dog, and other, you, we might actually find that we have it for height. And so rather than adding up all the people in your class that are 178.2 centimeters in height, you might go all the people from 170 to 179.9, and then everyone from 180 to 189.9. It's just another way of having a tally system or a way of putting the people into groups. When you do a few questions, you'll find that these are there are a few examples of these. That's pretty much it for this lesson. What this lesson is aimed to do is give you a little bit of a lead up for our next chapter, which is going to be on graphs of frequency tables. Thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you in the next lesson.